Hi team, today uh, we are going to see one more video about uh, borewell point checking. Um, you may be seen a lot of people uh, checking the borewell points you know, with various techniques. They are using some mean stick as well as yell angle shape rods you know, to uh, get the exact point of the water uh, where it flows. But all the methods are, it is not scientific. They, they are, these methods have their own pros and constraints. Now, what's the pros? Only thing is, if you dig any bore well, or any, I mean any bore or any well, you'll definitely find in a water um, about no below ten or uh, twenty feet. So this water need water diviners always escape from the uh, technology. No, no, there are. Um, scientific method is there. The method is nothing but geophysical survey. This will be done by a true hydrologist. And what they do, this is what we are going to analyze. Now, the borewell point will be checked in a scientific method um, by a hydrologist using uh, Ohm's meter. No, which uh, which how how it was applied. Now there is a battery. DC around DC 230 volt and there is a meter which calculate the resistivity now there is positive and negative uh, DC always comes with positive and negative they are they are doing I mean there are two points one is potential points and one is current points they keep either potential point in nearby to the meter uh, where uh, they um, need to find out the water point and they change alternately from 5 meters to 10 meters for different points across straight ones. It, it is north to south. In this direction, they change uh, uh, you know, different points up to 110 meters in a stage of 10 10 meters. Now, um, you can uh, you know, they will take, they will send the uh, uh, when current in, the, in their points, when one side positive and one side negative, and they will uh, get the uh, back voltage, I mean resistivity through a ohms meter, and the different points they will measure it, um, and the different point they will measure it, and the measurement, you know will be applied to a software particularly there is a software which will clearly provide the data what layers are available in the ground level that is the main point here this is a purely scientific method and here also they are not assuring the assuring that the water will get abundant because they will only show what are the layers available in up to what distance and um, is there any uh, you know uh, calculations the I mean um, uh, calcium uh, I mean, uh, it, it, it's like you know in Tamil people call it tsunami, tsunami is there all those things they will give clear data it's called a slumberger method there are two methods wetness and slumberger slumberger method only they are uh, these days the agriculture government is using so this is the only scientific method <coughs> now in Tamil see borewell point check but um, in the borewell point, you can see water divination called one. You can see the weapon which is strong, plus the yellow angle uh, rod which is strong. It's all goof offs. There is no scientific science behind that. And I learned so long ago, you know, the weapon which is in the sutto, in the sutto, in the sutto, and there is not proven science for that. Okay, what is proven science? That is the science in the uh, ஒருத்தியாங்க <laughs> நம்ம வந்து ஒரு சாஃப்ட்வேரில் அப்ளை பண்ணி அந்த சாஃப்ட்வேர் வந்து ஒரு ரிசல்ட் கொடுக்கும் அந்த ரிசல்ட்டில் கிளியராக இப்போ ஷோட 
என்னென்ன படுகைகள் இருக்கு என்னென்ன இது இருக்கு அப்படின்றத இது கிளியராக சொல்லிடும் ஸோ இதுக்கு பேர் ஸ்லம்பஜர் மெத்தட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் சயின்ஸ் மெத்தட் விச் இஸ் டு நோ டு ஐடென்டிஃபை போர்வெல் பாயிண்ட் அது இது ஒரே ஒரு இப்போ இருக்கிற ஒரே ஒரு சயின்டிஃபிக் மெத்தட் இது தான் இது மூலமாக தான் போர்வெல் பாயிண்ட் ஐடென்டிஃபிகேஷன் பண்ண முடியும் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் வாட்சிங் தேங்க்ஸ் இந்த